you know everyone when you are like when you are thinking to yourself you're like I want to become something. I really, really want to become something. I really, really want to become somebody. And we're like living in a time where people are obsessed with becoming something. And what I realize is that everything is impermanent. You know, like when you're little, you be, you want to become this, and you want to become that. I want to become a dancer. I want to become. I did this, but then thing, things pass. So what is permanent? What is actually permanent behind everything that is there is like that source that is inside you that never goes away, the part that you can always really be able to be aware of, aware of, of what you're trying to become. It's a superficial, it's a dead end. It's like a dead end because everything passes. So like when you die, it passes. So what you've been striving to become, you're like, You're never satisfied. You know you're never satisfied. And that part of you, the source that is behind everything, and if you know what I'm talking about, is that part, that part of you that is aware, constantly aware of your actions, constantly aware of your reactions, more or less your reactions to things. And those things are impermanent. Everything that you experience in your daily life is impermanent. It passes. So however you treat the moment, or treat the moment as in, in presence, when you're in present, when I'm in present, in the present moment, I can really be joyful and accept all that is coming into my experience. And I have no desire of becoming anything other than that present moment. And that is so liberating, liberating from, from, from the, from the emotions that are created by the thoughts that you're having in the current moment of however you're labeling something. You know, labeling whatever is in front of you. If, you're, uh, you, if you encounter some bitchy person or you encounter some lovely person, you encounter, um, you know, um, anything, anything in your life. Um, yeah, I would say positive or negative experiences. These are impermanent. They're not real. They're illusions. They're illusions because that source that the eyes, I look out, I look, and by the way, we see with our eyes, uh, we see with our brain and not with our eyes. You know, Google that, you know what I'm saying? And that is, that is just tells me something that what is reality? My brain is like taking in all of the information that my eyes are like, get, like seeing. And I'm creating, I'm creating a thought about an experience that is, that is temporary. And it becomes, it becomes, I'm focused on little, little things. The little things, a, little, a face, a, a reaction from a person, be it positive or negative. And you accept that as, as the reality. But there's, you only focus on the, on the, only on that little event, that only the little thing. And it's like the, the world, the world behind you and in front of you and to the side of you is, is existing at the same time. So you, so, or we, or whatever, when we react, when we act, react spontaneously to whatever experiences we are having or circumstances that we are having, it will pass, it passes. So the ability to step back and look at that and to realize that everything that you, everything that you think you're w wanting to become is passing. Things are passing. I recognize that in every single moment that I'm aware, which is, uh, which is, I can say pretty frequent and if I, if I, if I'm not, if I'm hijacked by any moment of like, you know, stressful people or stress, stressful situations when you have like, maybe said like deadlines or you have to, you have to produce or you have to, you have to produce something within a short amount of time. Like when I create or choreograph, I have like, you know, and you know, I have an hour and a half here, an hour and a half there, 45 minutes here, 45 minutes there. It's like a time clock, you know, and creativity comes and, and it comes and it goes. It comes and goes. It's impermanent. You know, creativity is like, you know, it doesn't, it's like, like, creativity isn't on a time clock. You know, I, I often say that because I recognize and realize that. But that doesn't mean that anything is good or bad or however I label it. Because it's just a, 
it's just <laughs> it's a passing moment that is so very so so very clearly seen by myself that I'm like, what is this? You know, what is this? Is is it, what is and how do I label it? And I recognize if I my ability to be able to appreciate everything and to be able to laugh, laugh at everything. And circumstances are circumstances. And even your mind, my mind will label, definitely, definitely label a situation. And label a situation and make me, try to make me believe that this is really a reality. And I can get upset and I can respond rudely or I can however I want to respond I want to react and you know that fight flight response is every single person every single one of us because it's primal it's like you either fight fight for yourself or you flee this is a primal instinct that we have but we are we are we are we are consciousness we are developing human beings and I really believe that what I've recognized within myself is that everything is inside of me. It's not on the outside of me. And how I relate to everything on the inside of me is my, my choice. My choice of being aware on how I respond. And before any of those thoughts hijack me and create emotions or create, you know, feelings of distress or stress or, or uncomfortable feelings, or even positive, which is which is nicer, of course. We all like that. We we actually we're joy junkies. We really more or less like the joy, joyful experiences. Everybody likes that. But never ever to be denied any of the other anything else, the negative experiences that you that we experience. I believe it's all the same thing. And we have the possibility to respond in the best position we are we are where we're standing at the at the moment wherever we are standing in that present moment to respond the best way we can with love in our hearts and kindness and appreciation it's more of a joyful day and i think it just it's it's like karma what goes around comes around and then you experience wonderful beautiful more frequent moments but never ever like I'm saying to myself, you ne I never ever deny what is in front of me. I'm not denying that things may seem very um, irrational and atrocious and, and difficult and all those kind of things. I welcome that. I welcome all of that into my experience because I allow it. And when I allow it, I can have a response to it in how I, it's my birthright on how I respond to that. So it's like, like I started with this, what a becoming what? What are we becoming? What do you want to become? It is all our prerogative, definitely. But everything disappears. It comes and goes and it's impermanent. It's like Buddhism. You know, Buddhism is like the impermanence of mental constructs. It is an amazing, amazing opportunity to recognize the impermanence of mental constructs which how we label things will come and go success and failure will come and go and that can be an all day however you think you succeed or fail in the day it's all the same thing there is no mistake there is no mistake only love only love and appreciation of what is and circumstance just does not determine does not have to determine your state is an opportunity and I share this because I care and I love so much my friends and my family and and um, it's just it serves me well to each his own I love you so much and thank you for watching bye